so here we continue with uh, the exercises yeah so before that we'll be saying this okay that we saw in the previous class so the preposition a yeah so here it is okay a with, with an accent grave okay so this is actually a preposition which means to in or at okay and also the article contract okay this is used to form an article contract so that is o or a la or i l apostrophe or i u x okay so we'll see the usage so as for to in or at so this will be used before a city okay so before a city okay we'll be using a so if you want to say i am in paris so we'll be saying je suis à paris okay if you want to say i go to paris then we say je vais à paris okay i live in paris j'habite à paris same way like we say j'habite à Pondicherry. Oui, j'habite à Pondicherry. So before a city, we will be using a. Right? So uh, a u. Okay, this is an article contract. So this is actually a plus le. Right? So this is actually for the masculine countries. Okay, like if you want to say I am in Canada. Okay, so you'll be saying tu es au Canada. So in English, we'll be uh, using the same preposition. I am in Paris. I am in Canada. Okay, so the in remains the same. But in French, for the cities, we'll be using a. And for the masculine countries, we'll be using o. Yeah. And the same way, uh, like here. Okay, so Brazil, it's masculine. Okay, so we use o Brazil. And also for the masculine places, like park okay, or temple and so on. Okay, we'll be using tu vas au parc. Okay, you're going to the park. Yeah, so au parc. And à la, it's for feminine places. Okay, like bank, okay, plage, and so on. Il va à la bank. Okay, so the same à preposition we'll be using. And plus, we'll be using la. Okay, so this is actually the article contracted for the feminine form. So il va à la bank. Il est à la plage, is at the beach. Right? Donc, then comes I l'apostrophe. This is for the words, the places, which starts with the vowel. Okay? Nous sommes à l'école. Nous sommes à l'école. Okay? So, we are at school. Elle va à l'église, for example. Okay? So, she goes to the church. Yeah? So, this means to the or at the. Yeah? And the uh, IUX it's for plural. Okay, so it has in it's actually a country which is uh, plural United States. Okay, just plural. So we use IUX. Okay, ils vont aux états unis Okay, so they go to United States. So or ils vont aux toilettes. Okay, the word toilette will okay, be always in plural form. Okay, ils vont aux toilettes. And this on it's actually for just for the feminine countries okay for the masculine countries we use canada i mean o canada okay, we use o but for feminine countries we'll be using on we don't use a la okay so a la it's for the feminine places yeah so for feminine countries we use on o n vous êtes en inde okay you are in india elles vont en inde okay so they are going to india Okay, so even France, it's feminine, Italy, Allemagne, Angleterre, so okay, all those countries are feminine, so we'll be using on. Okay, now we'll see the exercise. So, complete avec une preposition qui convient. So, complete with the convenient preposition. So, here we got a dash, and then after the dash, we got a word. So, according to that word, you got to use the right preposition, okay? So the first sentence, il travaille dash Angers. Right? So il travaille, okay, he works dash Angers. So this is actually a city in France, okay, so famous for its museum and its history. Okay, so it's actually a city. So what we'll be using? A accent. Okay, just a accent as it's a city, we'll be using a accent. Right? Il travaille à Angers. So B. Nous allons dash états unis So états unis it's plural. So we say nous allons aux états unis Oui? Voilà, O-A-U-X. So the next slide we'll see the answers. 
for, for now just follow so tu va bientôt dash canada okay tu va bientôt so bientôt soon okay so you're going soon to canada okay so here what preposition will be using we'll be using the article contracté o a u okay so as it's a masculine country we use a u o canada and they je vais dash université and université it's a place it's feminine but we don't use a la because it starts with the vowel right so we'll be using a accent l apostrophe right voilà. je vais à l'université i go to the university so the last one ils vont dash angleterre okay and angleterre so what is it so it's actually a country so in english we say england yeah so england it's angleterre in french angleterre right and it's feminine yeah so we'll be using on e n ils vont en angleterre so now we can go for the answers So, so now we'll see the verbs. Okay, so in the previous lessons we saw a few verbs which are irregular. So we saw the verbs avoir, être, connaître, and even s'appeler, and few er ending verbs. So in this lesson we'll be seeing the verb aller, faire, et comprendre. Okay, as you know, aller which means to go, faire to do or to make. And comprendre, which means to understand. Okay, so here are the conjugations. Okay, so in present tense, aller, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, on va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Verb faire, je fais, tu fais, il fait, elle fait, on fait, nous faisons, vous faites. Ils font, elles font. Comprendre, which means to understand. Je comprends, tu comprends, il comprend, elle comprend, on comprend, nous comprenons, vous comprenez, ils comprennent, elles comprennent. So if you see the verb comprendre, okay, it's actually the conjugation of prendre. Okay, you just add com in front. Okay, same way like prendre will be conjugating comprendre as well as apprendre right so voilà so and also the verbs like écouter and so on the other er ending verbs right so you'll just check the exercise now so the first exercise it's mettez les verbes au présent de l'indicatif okay so put the verbs in present tense yeah so you got five sentences and the given verbs in the bracket okay so you got to conjugate the verbs according to the subject in front of the dash yeah so far verb we just saw the verb écouter okay which means to listen it's an er ending verb you know very well how to conjugate and the verb travailler which means to work and parler it's to speak or to talk yeah so now we'll say no dash les exercices de grammaire okay so no dash so actually you got to conjugate the verb faire for nous. Nous faisons. Nous faisons les exercices de grammaire. B. Qu'est-ce qu'il... So dash, écoutez. So ils écoutent. Okay, so in plural form, third person plural, you will be adding ENT in the place of ER. Right, so qu'est-ce qu'ils écoutent. So what are they listening? Say, al dash o marche. So the verb to be conjugated is aller. So al va o marche. Okay, so the conjugation of aller for the third person singular, it's va, v a. Al va o marche. Okay, and here you can see marche, which means market, and it's a masculine word. So we use o, a u. Right, she goes to the market. Vous 
dash dans une entreprise française. So the verb given, it's travailler. So it's an ER ending verb for vous. So we'll be cutting the ER and we'll be adding a Z. Vous travaillez dans une entreprise française. So you work in a French company. So entreprise, it's an enterprise or a company. Okay, so française, the word entreprise, it's feminine. So we use française, the feminine form. It's okay, so vous travaillez dans une entreprise française. E, tu dash quatre langues. You dash four languages. Parler, which means to speak. Tu parles. Okay, so tu parles, you cut ER, you add ES. Tu parles quatre langues. You speak four languages. So we'll check the answers now. Faisons. Écoute. Va. Travailler. Parle. So now we'll go to the singular and plural form of the nouns. Yeah. So it's almost the same like in English. Okay, we just add S for few words. Okay, so le singulier et le pluriel des noms. Okay, the singular and the plural form of the nouns. En général, in general. So les noms prennent an S pour former le pluriel. So generally, so the nouns take an S. Okay, to form itself as a plural. Okay, so for example, un chat. So when in plural, changes to des chats. Un or win changes to they. Yeah, so a cat, some cats. Win maison, des maisons. We just add S, but we don't pronounce it in French. Okay, so in English, we'll be saying cats. Okay, but in French, we don't pronounce the last S. We say des chats. Okay, it's plural. So just we identify it by uh, in the determinant, the article. Okay, so un chat, des chats. Win maison, des maisons. Win école, des écoles. Okay, so even if it starts with a vowel, so we use DES. Right? Okay? So école, it adds an S. So that there are some uh, words, okay, so we change with S in the singular form itself. Okay, so like an arrow, an arrow, un prix, un pays. Okay, so arrow means a hero. A price or a weight, a country. Okay, so if you see these are like uh, in singular form. When you change to plural, so just the article changes to they, an changes to they. So, but the hero, okay, so hero, so remains the same. Okay, the spelling as well as the pronunciation will be the same. Pri, pri, pay, pay. Okay, so this means a hero, some heroes, a price, some prizes. A country, some countries. And this one, certain nom en a l change en a u x au pluriel. Some nouns which ends with a l in singular form, they'll be using a u x in the plural. For example, an animal, des animaux. Okay, so the a l changes to a u x. Okay, you can't add S here. Okay, un journal, des journaux. Okay, so a newspaper, some newspapers. Un cheval, so which means a horse. Des chevaux, some horses. Yeah, so careful when you do this. So now we'll go for the exercise. So here we got a sentence, mettez les phrases au pluriel. So put the sentences, phrases in plural. So a set win fleur. So this is actually the noun fleur. Okay, so it ends with r. So now mind you just add s here. And what about the article? So it's win, it changes to de, des. So de fleur. And c changes to ce sont. Okay, so the conjugation of address here. Okay, so when you change this to plural form, EST changes to son, S-O-N-T. So this is actually the third person singular. 
so third person plural it's s o n t okay so but s o n t it's uh, it starts with a consonant right so the c apostrophe changes to c yeah ce sont des fleurs so these are some flowers in plural form so here it's it's a flower so b alva a la banque she goes to the bank so in plural they go to the bank okay so we say like they go to the bank or they go to the banks yeah so al changes to al plural form we just add s and the conjugation is important even the conjugation you got to change according to the subject so this is actually the verb aller so al bon a la banque okay you can change a la banque to plural or you can leave as it is okay so if you change to plural form this a la changes to a u x and then bonk adds with an s okay al bon a la banque ou al bon au bank so say vous faites an exercise okay vous faites an exercice you do an exercise right so this is already in plural so vous faites an exercice changes to des exercices and changes to des des exercices changes adds with an s right vous faites des exercices you do some exercises des j'écoute la chanson de sting Okay, Sting, c'est un chanteur. He's a singer. Okay, so j'écoute. Okay, this is the first person singular. So we change this to first person plural, which is nous écoutons. Nous écoutons. La changes to le. Okay, so if it's le, la, or l apostrophe, so it changes to le, l e s. Nous écoutons les chansons. We add an s. Okay, nous écoutons les chansons de Sting. So this doesn't change of Sting. Okay, you can't add s here. You can't add s here. Okay, so careful with the. We all uh, this is a common mistake. We'll be adding s here for the plural form, but we don't add s here because this means of Sting. Yeah. So it's like nous écoutons les chansons de Sting, and here. Tu habites à Paris. Okay, tu habites. It's actually the second person singular form. When you change to second person plural, so tu changes to vous. Vous habitez. The conjugation. Vous habitez à Paris. Same way. So à Paris is actually city. So we don't add s or anything. So it will remain the same. Vous habitez à Paris. Yeah, so now we'll see the answers. So just careful here. This thing and a pari. Okay, so we'll remain the same. Okay, so do not make any changes here. For the remaining, we'll be changing to plural form. And here, so you can just write any one. If you write alvon a la banque, it's correct. Or if right, alvon o bank, even that's correct. Now we'll move to the next. Les adjectifs interrogatifs. Right, so the interrogative adjectives. So which is cal, masculine. And this is when you add s, it becomes masculine plural. Cal, feminine. Yeah. And when you add s, it becomes feminine plural. Yeah. So here, cal bistro. So which cafe? Okay. So cal means which or what? Yeah. So cal bistro. So which coffee shop or which cafe? Yeah. So cal pay to am. Which country you like? Yeah. So cal follows with a noun. Yeah. So cal pay. So these are masculine. Bistro is masculine. So we use this cal. And it's singular, yeah. So pay same way, it's country. So cal pay, tu am. So we use this cal. Even if you add s here, 
okay with cal this s if you add it here so the meaning doesn't change a lot which means like which countries you like okay so the payee remains the same because it's uh, singular and for plural we have we use the same word pay and cal film to regard okay so what movie you're watching the word film it's masculine okay so we use cal film then comes the subject and verb to regard okay or you can even inverse cal film regard to okay cal film is que tu regard so the last one this is masculine plural Cal monument tu am. Oui, cal monument tu am. So the word monument it's plural. So we use cal with s. Okay, so according to the noun, so we use this cal or the other one. Yeah. So now we've come to the feminine form. Okay, so cal. Even this means which or what. So cal affiche. So which poster or which notice. Okay, affiche means poster or notice. Quel affiche? Yeah. Quel affiche al regard? So, which poster she is watching? Okay. So, quel est ton address? Even so, the quel, the adjective anthropocative quel, will be followed by the verb at. Okay. Quel est votre profession? Quel est votre nationalité? Quel est votre numéro de téléphone? So, likewise. Okay, so here, cal a ton address, what's your address? And the last one, cal ville vous visitez. So, this is like in plural, ville is plural, feminine plural. So, we use cal with s. Yeah, so which cities you visit, okay, or which cities you're visiting. Yeah, right. so now we'll go to the exercise. You just got to find some questions. Trouvez la question. En utilisant l'adjectif interrogatif cal. Oui. So, you got to find the question by using the cal adjective interrogative. Oui. So, this is actually the masculine singular form of the default one. Okay, you can use the feminine form or the plural ones. So, j'aime beaucoup les chats. First one, j'aime beaucoup les chats. Okay, I like cats a lot. Okay, so the question you got to ask is, which animal you like? Okay, so you got to use with cal. Cal, animal, tu am. Or cal, animal, vous aimez. Okay, so second one. Al adore Tom Cruise. Okay, so al adore Tom Cruise. So she adores Tom Cruise. Okay, Tom Cruise, as you know. Is a, an American actor, right? So, I adore Tom Cruise. So, which actor she likes, or which actor she adores? So, which actor? So, we use Cal actor, Cal actor, Al am, or Cal actor, Al adore, right? So, there are more ways to frame question. Okay, so if it's a meaningful one, then. You can go for it. So, see, nous habitons à Agra. Nous habitons à Agra. We live in Agra. Okay, so which is a city. And you got to ask, like, Cal, which city you are living in? Okay, so which city? Cal ville, vous habitez. Or Cal ville, tu habites. Oui, so they. Il aime le palais de Versailles. Okay, il aime le palais de Versailles. He likes le palais de Versailles, which means the Versailles Palace. Okay, there's one famous uh, palace in Paris. Okay, so you got to ask like which palace he likes. Okay, so we use Cal, palais, il aime. Oui, Cal, palais, il aime. Voilà. So the last one, j'aime beaucoup les mathématiques. J'aime beaucoup les mathématiques. Okay, so I like Max a lot. Okay, so I don't know the sentence should be in negation, but still. Um, so mathématiques, what is it? It's a subject. 
right okay so for subject in french we use matière okay so we don't say the word sujet okay we use the word matière cal matière tu aimes or cal matière vous aimez okay so the word matière it's feminine so we use double l cal matière vous aimez or you can even say cal matière vous aimez beaucoup Okay, so we'll move to the next. So we'll see the answers now. Cal animal am tu? Cal actor am tel? Or you can even use the verb adore. Cal actor adore tel? Cal ville habitez vous? Cal palais am tel? Or you can even use the normal form. Cal palais il am? Even that's fine. Cal actor al am or al ador. Cal animal tu am. Even that's fine. Okay, no need to inverse. So the last one, cal matière. So careful with this. So you got an accent. Cal matière am tu beaucoup. Okay, you can add beaucoup or not. Okay, that doesn't mean a lot. So you can just put a question mark here. Yeah, so we'll move to the next. So pose the question. Okay, the same way uh, you got to frame some questions. Right? Je travaille aux États-Unis, so which means I work in United States. Yeah, so there's no comma here, that's a full stop. Je travaille aux États-Unis, I work in United States. You got to frame a question like, Where do you work? Okay, where are you working? Or where do you work? So, where it's où, the previous lesson we saw. Right, O O U accent. So, O travaillez vous or O travaille tu. Oui. So, B. Il est ingénieur. Il est ingénieur. He is an engineer. So, we got to frame a question like, what's his profession? Cal et sa profession. Okay, Cal est sa profession. What's his profession? Il est ingénieur. C. Nous allons à Delhi. Okay, we are going to Delhi. Nous allons à Delhi. So the question is like, where are you going? Where are you going? So, où allez-vous? Or, où vas-tu? Okay, it's better you ask like, où allez-vous? Because this is in plural form. Okay, so we are going to Delhi. So, where are you going? So, où allez-vous? Okay, or, où vous allez? So, de, je regarde un film. Je regarde un film. I am watching a movie. Okay, so the question will be like, what you are watching? What are you watching? Yeah, so, que regardes-tu? Or, que regardez-vous? Or, you can even ask, qu'est-ce que vous regardez? Qu'est-ce que tu regardes? Okay, so any one of these four forms is correct. Right? Que regardes-tu? Que regardez-vous? Qu'est-ce que tu regardes? Or, qu'est-ce que vous regardez? So, any one is fine. So, the last one. I'll detest le cinema. Okay, so she dislikes, she hates movies or the cinema. Okay, so what she hates, that will be the question, right? What she hates, qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? Qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? So what she hates, we'll check the answers now. Où travailles-tu? Quelle est sa profession? Où allez-vous? Que regardes-tu? Qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? So the remaining exercises will continue in the next class. Oui, merci beaucoup.